Now you guys have probably built snow forts in your younger days, but this is how college students build snow forts. It's a quite a monument, it took a couple hours, and there, this is the first one that I'm gonna be showing you guys on the internet. Um, we, there's a total of three, and they've melted a little bit over the days, but as you can see, there we go. We had to build an entrance because when we first built the wall, it was a little bit over about three, four feet. You really couldn't jump it easily, unless you really had hops. It's still backing up here. There is the entirety of this one. We called it either the fort or the wall. <laughs> we, you know, the name wasn't exactly specific, but with this, but the one thing is, we definitely beat Donald Trump to doing, to building this. <laughs> yeah, so let's take a quick look inside. Can even just kinda scoot in there. Kinda have to go on your hands and knees, but This is what it looks like from the inside. There's the tunnel that we just came through. And there we go. So, I will pause the video now and we'll go on to the next one. So looking here, we have the second one, as you can see. This one's less of a fort and more of an igloo. But if we kind of walk around here, you can get an idea of it. And now again, it kind of melted with the snow. But as you can see, it's kind of started to also collapse because we put this up a day or two ago. But if we can take a quick look inside. Again, you can see it melted a lot, but you could hold, I heard at most, about five people. Still pretty cool though. <laughs> backing out here. Again, yeah, it's significantly melted. But, you know, still pretty cool. And we'll go on to the third. Now, this one survived a little bit better, but still it's significantly melted. And as you can kind of come around here and see. Not only that, but the entrance has held up quite nicely. We'll take a quick look inside there. Again, these have significantly melted. But, yep, there's the inside. You can see some lights creeping through. <laughs> kind of give you a little quick of tour. You can see there. Fit a whole purse. You, I heard at best, when this was at its best, it can fit up to three people. It's not super tall. You know, not super tall. If you're kind of on the shorter side, you can actually kneel. But, <clears throat> here you go. And, uh, now, the other cool thing is, to really get an under a perspective of how immense these are, I'll take you up to the fourth floor of the dorms, out, and we'll look out the window. And you can get an idea of how intense and how big these structures are. Now, as you can see, I've gone to the fourth floor, up on the fourth, and if we turn around, there is the fort. It's melted a little again. They've all melted, but there's the fort. There's one of the dorm buildings, and there's a person walking down there. So it gives you kind of a perspective, and there's one of the utility trucks out there. So it gives you an interesting perspective of how actually big this is. Sadly, it has melted a bit, but still. And if we can get over to this window here, you can see the second one that I've showed you. The, igloo, the first igloo kind of thing. And I'll give you a shot of the second one, which is over in that direction, just a second. And there's the third igloo. Our third structure, second igloo kind of thing. And you can see there's a person out there. And so pretty immense structures. 
took quite a while to build. So there you go, getting kind of another shot there. Uh, quite a men structures, took it, uh, most people spent about four hours, but hey, if you're an engineering student, your homework's done, and it's a snow day, hey, that's what you're gonna go out and do, you're gonna go out and build stuff. <laughs> so there's some of the snow forts and igloo structures that you built when you're an engineering college student on a snow day. Thanks for watching. Bye.